Hudson, <laughs> hey Hudson Valley. Uh, the Boris and Robin show is going to be starting in just a little bit. Did you see the little uh, little sign there? See that? You know what that means? Reserve parking. Yeah, for who? <laughs> for who? It's for you. <laughs> employee of the month. I, uh, <laughs> I don't know how the hell that happened. I got an email yesterday saying that I was employee of the month here at Town Square Media. Yep, and you got a sign made. Um, I don't know why. Uh, there was no explanation given. I don't know. Well, thanks. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so we've got a big show this morning. Uh, Boris and Robin show starting in just a little bit. Uh, today we're going to be talking about uh, this uh, girl from Highland. Have you heard this story about uh, Casey Knockett? Right. She, uh, she's an idiot. Um, <laughs> so she's, you know, one of these millennials who it's all about her and oh, I'm so important and special. And I guess she, uh, she was traveling around uh, to some of the uh, national parks and she decided, well, since I'm so important and special, I'm going to leave the world a gift wherever I go. And she painted like graffiti art, like on uh, Yosemite and yeah. Death Valley and like all of these like beautiful state parks. And she would post it up on like a Tumblr and an Instagram. <laughs> uh, and the world of social media found her and tracked her down. It's an amazing story. Yeah. And I guess this is a big thing on Reddit. And like they were just looking for more instances of her and her graffiti art. And they got the National Park Service involved and she got, she got arrested for it. This is back in 2014. Uh, this week, they finally sentenced her, uh, and she has now been banned from every single national park in yeah. the country. Wow. Which, to put that in perspective, that is 20% of the country. <laughs> so she can't go into 20% of the country. Um, and I guess she's also going to be fined, and I guess in December they're going to have a hearing on that, and uh, she's got 200 hours of community service. But, you know, we asked uh, the listeners on Facebook yesterday, do you think that uh, the punishment fits the crime? And a lot of people don't think so. A lot of people want her, like, sentenced to death. Like, they're angry. I mean, like, angry. That's a little harsh. Might be a little harsh. <laughs> uh, some people are saying, you know, jail time would be appropriate. Uh, so we're going to open up the phone lines this morning and see what you guys think uh, about Casey and uh, what should be done with her. I, you know, she's, like, 21 years old. Yeah. I think, you know, she probably learned her lesson. Probably. And it's not an excuse that you don't know any better, she, but she seems really stupid. She's probably not got in graffiti anymore. Probably yeah, I like doubt I doubt it'll happen again, but, uh, you know, she's just one of those, you know, you know how you, know, you kids are these days. Yeah. Walking around with your Snapchat and I'm all so important. Yeah. I mean, I go graffitiing all over the place. Yeah, That's I what I do. I thought that was you. <laughs> all right. So anyway, we'll, we'll open up the phone line and see what you guys think about that. Also, Attorney John Spillboard will be here this morning. We got a uh, letter from one of our listeners who, I guess their kid was over someone else's house. He was playing with one of those sparklers. One yeah. of the, uh... One of those sparklers. Don't worry, I won't burn you today. <laughs> <laughs> he was playing with one of those sparklers. I guess he, uh, he it, like, wound up falling off, you know, like it did here, and it burned the desk. Right. Uh, it wound up burning the kid's foot. Uh, so the parents, uh, you know, since they weren't there, and, you know, the kid was being looked after by friends, they want to know if they should be compensated. You know, of course, they want to sue. Right. So uh, John will uh, chime in and let us know what's going on with that. Uh, let's say hi to Gordon. Good morning. Morton Gordon. Hi, Gordon. He says uh, she shouldn't be banned from the park. She should be fined. Yes. So, okay, we'll, we'll, we'll add that to our conversation today. Um, Chris. Oh, no, Charles. Trying to listen with a chorus of roosters carrying on in the barnyard. Are we the roosters? No, I think he's listening in a barnyard. <laughs> okay. He's, he's, he's probably watching us while he's feeding the chickens or roosters. I don't know. Well, good morning to you. Wow. Say hand of the roosters. Probably has a stronger Wi-Fi connection in his barnyard. David. What were you, you know, you're getting quite the following on this uh, pre-show show. Am I? You really are. Look at all the people that are uh, <laughs> chiming in here. All right. So we got that going on this morning. And what else? Is that it? Uh, beer or no beer? Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll do the beer or no beer game. Uh, we're going to be talking about the Mick Lobster. And what, what is that? That's at McDonald's. Yeah, six o'clock hour. We'll uh, we'll tell you. It's a new sandwich from McDonald's, uh, and it's actually it's this year. It's available very close to the Hudson Valley. Really? We might be making a McLobster road trip. Oh boy! So uh, we'll talk about all that this morning uh, from the uh, employee of the month. Have a great morning. Thanks for watching the uh, the pre-show show. Good job, meat sandwich. Thanks. Hey, roosters. <laughs> Cock a doodle doo. <laughs>